Good Monday morning, everybody. A little dark, but I think we'll manage. Um, hope you had a great weekend. Hope you were able to worship in the church of your choice, either in person or online yesterday. Our topic from today.refrainmedia.com this morning is Reflections of a Pilgrimage. And we're going to be reading Genesis 47, verses 5 through 12 from the English Standard Version of the Bible. So let's go. So then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Your father and your brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Settle your father and your brothers in the best of the land. Let them settle in the land of Goshen. And if you know any able men among them, put them in charge of my livestock. Then Joseph brought in Jacob his father and stood him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Jacob, How many are the days of the years of your life? Jacob said to Pharaoh, The days of the years of my sojourning are a hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have been the days of the years of my life, and they have not attained to the days of the years of the life of my fathers in the days of their sojourning. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out from the presence of Pharaoh. Then Joseph settled his father and his brothers and gave them a possession in the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Ramesses, as Pharaoh had commanded. And Joseph provided his father, his brothers, and all his father's household with food according to the number of their dependents. An old folk hymn proclaims, I am a poor wayfaring stranger while traveling through this world of woe. As Jacob settles once again in a place where he doesn't really belong, he has the opportunity to reflect on how his whole life has been a, a sort of a journey. A journey made difficult at times by the effects of his own sin and his desire to manipulate his way into God's blessing. Many of us could offer a similar assessment of our lives. Like Jacob, we want to make things work out our way. Like him, our self-centeredness and sin complicate our walk with God and others. But God remains faithful. God isn't most interested in Jacob's geographical location. As the patriarch looks back, he begins to see that his life has been a pilgrimage, a series of temporary stops that have led him more deeply into God's grace. This humility gives Jacob the ability to bless others in a way that he has not been able to do when he lived mainly for himself. So where's God leading you? When you look around at this world of woe, look also for ways in which God has used difficulties to make his work in you cleaner. And give thanks to all who humbly journey with Christ can look forward to their true home with Him, received by grace. Let's pray. In the hymn Amazing Grace, we sing, Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Your grace, O God, is the only reason we have come safely thus far. Thank you for your promised grace to lead us home. In Jesus, amen. So what journey are you on today? What sojourn are you sojourning <laughs> on? I look I look around at the place we're at today. There's squirrels running around, um, campfires everywhere, bugs um, chirping and making noise in the background, and it's just full of God's beauty. And I'm going to keep this short and. Um, Actually, all of our devotions for the next few days are going to be short and probably a little messed up simply because um, we're in pretty poor internet area, so I'm trying to keep these short so they will actually upload in time. But uh, I want to keep everybody in your prayers. Um, like we talked about yesterday, you know, if there's something you need out there, you know, find somebody to pray with you. Let us know so we can pray with you. You know what? You don't have to be physically together to pray together. You can do something as simple as, at this time, let's all pray for this thing. At that time, let's all pray for that thing. Or on a phone call, or a video chat, whatever. So, you know, as Jacob reflected on his life and his sojourning, and it was, it was quite a, it was quite a path, and you know, made a lot harder because of his own greed and sin. And we need to look back at our own path we've taken to where we are today. 
Is it been more difficult because we aren't letting God lead the way? We are trying to lead ourselves to where we think God wants us to be instead of lead, letting God lead us to where we need to be. So I'll leave you with that thought today. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, hopefully. If not, it's because we have bad internet issues. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.